Hey guys, today I show you my new review of Back in Black The Trump Integration's No Star Lineup The Daily Show When a new story falls through the cracks, our very own Louis Black catches it with a segment we call Back in Black The inauguration of America's last president is only a few days away, and it's shaping up to be as exciting as bird watching with a tax attorney. We're days away from Donald Trump's inauguration, so why is such a major event having problems booking major acts? At least some stars are turning down the invitation. Donald Trump has had a tough time attracting many celebrities. Celine Dion, Elton John, Kiss, Ice-T, just a few. You want to know why so many celebrities died in 2016? <laughs> it was to get out of playing the goddamn inauguration. <laughs> but, but, hey, being universally hated is no excuse for not throwing a good party. <laughs> Richard Nixon booked James Brown for his inauguration. Look at that. The godfather of soul shaking hands with James Brown. <laughs> Personally, I don't give two whether famous people are lining up to serenade the new president. I got my tickets, and I'm gonna go no matter what, because I want to be there when Trump touches the Bible and his hand catches on fire. <laughs> President-elect Sour Grapes doesn't give a damn if the cool kids come to his party. Trump tweeted as though the whole thing doesn't bother him. The so-called A-list celebrities are wanting tickets to the inauguration, but look what they did for Hillary. Nothing. I want the people. Well, what a coincidence. The guy who can't book any celebrities doesn't want any celebrities. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was a teenager. And I swore off having sex with the prettiest girl in my class. <laughs> no thanks, Charlene. I'm in a loving relationship with some Polaroids of my cleaning lady. <laughs> now, before you go thinking it's just celebrities turning down the gig, even people known for lining up and doing exactly what they're told to don't want to perform. The Rockettes are kicking up controversy over the upcoming presidential inauguration. The Rockettes represent a legacy of strong, intelligent, and classy women. And so to associate this with Mr. Trump, who has a public history of degrading women, objectifying women, really tarnishes what the Rockettes embody. Well, how about we compromise? The Rockettes are forced to perform, but they get to take turns kicking President Trump in the balls! <laughs> and... And speaking of balls, this inauguration has such a stink on it, it's toxic to even get near it. Uproar on social media after the band from a historically black college in Alabama is invited to perform at President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. The Talladega College Marching Tornadoes Band accepted the invitation to take part in the inaugural parade. Why the hell? is a historically black college's marching band performing for a guy who retweets white supremacists. If you want a college marching band, what about Trump University? Sure, it's just one guy with a kazoo who's $50,000 in debt, but he sure could use the work. But don't ever count the Donald out. He's always got a few surprises up his sleeve, and Trump's inauguration committee tweeted out the big news. Proud to have the case on Platoon, home of the Army's oldest and most famous horse, Blackjack. Take part in Inauguration Day 2017. Move over, Beyonce and Jay-Z. We've got a celebrity horse coming through. Of course, Blackjack himself won't be able to attend since he died in 1976. Not to coin a phrase, but you guys are literally tweeting a dead horse. <laughs> right now, the two biggest acts booked for the inauguration are an America's Got Talent contestant, contestant, not winner, <laughs> and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Uh, uh, yes, the thrill of choir music. 
but with the edginess of Mormonism. <laughs> and, and don't forget about the parties. At one of the inaugural balls, they've got great acts like 1980s cover band, The Reagan Years. <laughs> they play all the hits from the 80s while ignoring the existence of AIDS. <laughs> but look, when it comes down to it, we may not know who will perform, but we've just found out the theme. With just over a week until Donald Trump is officially sworn in as president, we now have a better idea of the theme of his celebration, soft sensuality. Yeah, that's right. Soft sensuality. Mm. Good to know when America's getting by Donald Trump, at least he'll do it gently. <laughs>